Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. I am starting with a canvas that I pour that I do not care for at all. So I'm going to pour over this canvas. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. And I've got all deco art colors, orange flame, festive green, sour apple, true red, true blue, neon pink, Dioxazine Purple, this is uh, Magenta, the Premium Magenta, this is a mixture of blue with a little bit of green in it and Thalo Cyanine Blue to make a peacocky color. And then this one is more of an emerald green that I've mixed up. So I've got a rainbow of colors. I also have white, all the deco art colors are actually that has some Prussian blue in it too. They're Deco Art craft bottles. I mix a one to one ratio with Oatrol Easy Flow. This is like Floatrol in America, but this is a European company. You can get it from OatrolUSA.com or from my Amazon link below. They graciously give me free product to demo. And this is an 11 by 14 canvas. I want to do a kind of a dirty pour. The white that I have is Artist Loft White Flow Acrylic mixed a little bit with the Deco Art Satin Enamel. And I do have Oatrol on that as well, not pouring medium. I didn't use the Liquitex pouring medium. There is OGX in the colors, but I just want to do kind of a rainbow of colors. So I'm going to put just a little bit of white in the bottom of the cup. And then, let's say I have a smidge of yellow left in a cup. I'll go ahead and squeeze that out into my cup. And I'll just kind of go through the rainbow colors. I'm just going to put a little in. It's going to be a dirty pour. I'll do the red next. some hot pink, this deep magenta color which I love, do a little bit more white, purple which I also love, I'm going to do the bright blue, the, the deeper turquoisey blue, I'll do this emeraldy green, the regular green, the lighter green. Then I'm going to go back to blue and back to purple. And I'm going to flip the cup over. So we'll see with this hodgepodge of colors and this white mixture if it does anything funky. Release that air pressure. The paints do have OGX in them. Cool looking inside the cup. I'll heat it. And the only reason I really heat it is just to pop the air bubbles. That's the main reason. So I'm just going to go ahead and stretch. Greens and oranges are pretty strong. They sometimes can take over 
your pour. So I'm noticing here that the orange is really kind of popping out. And I did kind of add some water to my colors. And when you do that, they become very fluid and they have a tendency to do exactly what this did, which is kind of stretch the cells into funky shapes, which I'm not crazy about. So what I'm going to do is put red here. Trickle a little hot pink. And take a damp paper towel. I bunch it up so that I only have a little bit of paper towel that's going to be where I can see it. And I take my fingers and stretch the paper towel out. Lay it in that red. The interesting part about this is that white did not pop through. I'm going to stretch this just a bit. So this one's a little different than I'm I've never s remember swiping with red before, but I may have. It's a kind of an interesting background. So there it is. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Check out the links below and come back and visit me on the next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.